Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Phil Studio. Today is a great day because I'm presenting you the Penta Mic. So yes, this is a real working product, not some kind of bricolage nonsense or gadget. And, and actually it's a working product that was all designed here at the Phil Studio. And today I have the pleasure to actually share with you the process as well as share a demo of this magnificent pentaphonic microphone. Uh, it's quite a journey, so buckle up. Idea. It all started with a dream. This idea had been sleeping on the shelf for years, collecting dust and ordering question marks. The more this idea was in my mind, the more I thought it would be nearly impossible to realize. Let me put you in the context. I've been a fan of electric microphones since the day I learned electronics. I'm in love with these capsules. They are simple and effective. But a simple circuit wasn't quite enough. One electric microphone wasn't enough for me. So what about building a stereo mic using two electric capsules? Fine, an easy project you say. Then. This idea snowballed into three microphones, then four, and finally five microphones. The invention was clear in my head. I wanted an audio panoramic capturing device composed of five microphones. The name would be the Pentamic. And it would be housed inside a nice rectangle box. That's it. That sole idea slept on the shelf for four years. I have drawings of this device that dates from the prehistoric age. Proof of concept. I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty sure I took a big chance here tackling this project. After googling the best electric mic preamp circuit on Google and trying a few, I ended up choosing one based on the LM358 in a non-inverting input configuration. I knew that I would be able to change or swap easily the LM358 with a TLO72 or 82 or even a NE3552. The circuit was fairly simple and would work well out of a 9V battery, so I tested it on my breadboard and connected the output to my computer sound card. I recorded some stuff and thought, that doesn't sound bad at all. The circuit worked. All I needed was to multiply it by 5 and it was a wrap. KeyCAD. I jumped straight into KeyCAD. And since I really like designing circuits and boards, I was thrilled. I made sure to add the capacitor for filtering the power supply section and even added summing resistors since I wanted to have a right and left output. Um, so most of the microphone would be combined uh, depending on the panning. I really needed to tweak the circuit since I also wanted the possibility to control the gain as well as the panning on two of uh, the electric mic. The circuit was getting kind of complicated, but after a whole night of design, the circuit was ready. The next night was spent designing the layout and the PCB. After making sure and double checking everything, I sent it over to GLC PCB, which is not a sponsor by the way, and waited for a week or so. Assembly. Assembling the circuit and testing it along the way was probably the most depressing moment of the whole process. I encountered two bugs which at some point made me believe the design was shit and that I couldn't use the product. After hours of troubleshooting, I realized there were two points on the circuit not making contact. One of them is probably my fault 
and the other was a manufacturing issue. So while fixing these, I also added some filtering capacitor near the positive and negative pins of the 5 OP amp, something I should have done way earlier. But this done, it was time to find a house for this nice circuit. So let's say it, I have 7 potentiometers, 1 big power button, 5 microphone capsules that must be out of the casing, a 2 jack connector, a 9 volt battery holder, and not under the whole casing to make sure I can fix the case on a mic stand or a tripod. I call this part design, but this is more like improvisation. I took the measurement of my circuit and knew exactly what acrylic casing I needed. So I went to the store and bought it. But little did I knew I would need to modify my PCB in order to make it fit in there. What a shame. Drilling in my PCB wasn't expected at all, but you know, I had to do it. After fixing the PCB in place, I thought it would be amazing to have mic capsules that can be swapped or changed easily. Yeah, another prototyping stuff or easy swappable part. So here goes my GST 2 pin connectors and while we're at it, why not use my 3D printer to make something cool for the electric mic? So I went to Thingiverse and searched electric mic for hours and downloaded everything I could find. Spent the night printing and gluing and screwing stuff to the Frankenstein housing. And finally, it turned out not so bad. I drilled all on top of the casing and fixed all my potentiometers to the terminal block. I know one of you out there on Reddit is a terminal block hater or a terminator. But you know what? I don't give a damn about you. I love terminal block and here is my motto. Easy connection. My five years old nephew can do it. Teaching electronics. Solid. Barbarian proof. So yeah, everything was in place. This looked not bad at all, but I could hear someone screaming on the back of my head. Paint it! Last year I bought some acrylic paint pens and I haven't really had the chance to use them, so it was the perfect time to, to do so. If you're interested in watching the whole process, there is a video probably out there somewhere in the Tuesday drawing playlist that will air one day. I'm not sure if it's out yet. So I recommend you encourage this guy, he's great. Subscribe to his channel, it's the Phil Studio. Show the world. Oh yeah, so it was time to go out there in the world and try this beast. Though this product and project was nearly a masterpiece, I wasn't aware that some of my professional gear or equipment would fuck me up during my fun adventure. So I traveled to Niagara Falls with the Panta mic and made sure to bring my Zoom H4n with me to record the falls and some ambient noise. Because let's say it, uh, the Panta mic is not a recording device, it's, it's only a microphone. So you need a sound card or something to, to, to record actually the, the sound. So I was there, I was ready. These freaking batteries, can you believe the batteries that leaked in my Zoom? And if you've ever been to in Niagara Falls, you know how tough it is to find batteries out there. So I clean up my Zoom really quickly and after an hour searching for batteries, I came back to the falls and installed my equipment. The crowd looking at me anxiously not knowing what a penta mic was. Next problem. The freaking left jack input of my zoom is broken. Like physically broken. I, I have to hold up the cable so it make a connection. Screw me. So despite all the curse that was falling upon me, 
I ended up recording 30 seconds of audio. Here is the Zoom H4n, which is mainly capturing wind. Sorry, I forgot your, your pop filter. And now is the Pentam mic recording this magnificent paysage sonore. I wasn't really satisfied. Th this test was nothing. I, I needed to perform another test. Back in my city, I went to the beach and took more time to record. Though, I still had the same problem with the input of my Zoom and see this video somewhere in which I attempt to fix this issue. At least, I could take the time to hold the cable in place and make sure the connection was secured and so here's the Zoom H4 and mic. Here's the pantomime. So, in the end, I'm not trying to prove that my gadget sounds better than the integrated mic of the Zoom H4n. I have used these stereo for many field recording, but, you know, I feel like the mix of the Penta mic is quite amazing. The, the placement of the mic is 
are optimized in a way that you can really capture 180 degrees of audio and play with the volume while recording. So this really is a cool feature. So to end up this video, here's a little jam recorded with the Pentamic. Uh, know that the dream would be to mix someone or multiple musicians performing live and so I can play with the gain and panning to create dynamic depth. So I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for more crazy electronic device. See ya. Son, how do you push stop on that?